FaceTime is a great way to communicate with other people who have iPhones, iPads, iPod Touch, or Apple computers. First, FaceTime must be enabled in Settings. From the home screen, tap on Settings. Swipe up to locate FaceTime. Next, tap on FaceTime. Enable FaceTime if it isn't already enabled. As well, you may see and select your contact information that can be used to reach you using FaceTime. When finished, swipe back. Return to the home screen. Now, let's tap on the FaceTime app. It looks like a video camera. Displayed may be a list of recent FaceTime calls. Tapping on any of these immediately places a FaceTime call in the format of the last call you had with this person. For example, video or audio. If you don't see the person you want, tap the plus sign. Enter the name, email, or phone number of the person you wish to call. Any highlighted contacts may be selected. You may tap to place an audio or video call, and the call will immediately be placed. I'll go ahead and tap Cancel. Once again, a list of recent calls may be displayed. If you missed a FaceTime call, it's indicated in red. You can tap on this listing to call the person back. To access a person's contact card, tap on the information circle. Notice FaceTime is listed on this contact card. This lets you know that you may FaceTime this person. If you wish to video FaceTime call them right now, then you may tap on the video camera icon. Or to audio FaceTime call this person right now, tap on the phone icon. Let's swipe back without calling this person. To place a FaceTime video call, I'll tap on a recent that indicates a video call. When connected, you can see the recipient in the larger window. Oh look, they're using a cute dog and emoji for fun. I'm using a cute one too. The small pane shows what they are seeing. You can drag this pane to other corners on the screen if you find it's covering an important part of the screen. Tap the screen for options to appear. Tap on camera to change to the camera on the back of the iPhone or iPad. Tap on the camera again to return to the front camera. To mute yourself, tap on the microphone. The recipient loses video and sees a paused icon, but you can still hear them. Lastly, to end the call, tap End. I'll return to the home screen. You can even ask Suri to make a FaceTime call for you by activating Suri and saying something like, FaceTime audio call like us. When a FaceTime call comes in, tap to accept or decline the call. Explore using FaceTime. It's a wonderful way to stay in touch. To learn more about the amazing iPhone features, please visit us at mymobilegenius.com. Empowering Mobility.